It appears that the former B2K member Roz B is keeping his foot on Chris Stokes' neck about those alleged allegations of sexual abuse. And not only that, T-Sippers, it seems that the whole conversation between the two stopped on Chris Stokes' behalf. It apparently seems that Roz B not only wanted to bring light, but an actual remedy to the whole situation. He actually asked Chris Stokes to take a lie detector test. And this ends where the conversation stopped about the whole topic. See, according to Roz B, Chris Stokes himself tried to silence this young man. But Roz B said himself, he won't be silenced. He's keeping pressure on his former manager, Chris Stokes, over those allegations of sexual abuse when this young man was actually only a minor. For years, Roz B has spoken out about being molested by Chris Stokes as a kid. Now he's demanded that Chris Stokes takes a polygraph test so the truth can finally be revealed. Now let's go a little bit deeper, T-Sippers, about this whole situation. See, between 2007 and 2010, Demario Rasby Thornton accused his former manager, Chris Stokes, and his former friend, Marcus Houston, of molesting him as a youth. And following these public accusations, Chris Stokes released a statement denying the sexual abuse allegations. And since then, Rasby has been repeatedly sharing stories about what he endured as a child in the music industry when he was just a member of the hit singing group, B2K. Now, in the past, Rasby sat down with the Hollywood Unlocks Jason Lee for an in-depth interview about being drug and alcohol abuse and actually being molested as a child and to elaborate on those sexual abuse allegations that were made against his former manager. However, the interview actually got shelved by Fox Soul. And in my opinion, T-Sippers, famous or not, this is actually the reason why black men do not come out and tell about their stories of being sexually molested as a child, especially by another man, because this is the results that they're going to receive. No support at all. And this is what actually causes black men a lifelong injury. They probably will beat their women, kill their women, or even be on drugs, or even be rapists, killers, serial killers, or even re-offend. Case in point, T-Sippers, isn't Fox Soul ran by a black woman? Black woman of Fox Soul, this could be your son. However, it appears that Jason Lee did try to support Raz B. He went on his Instagram and he said, why are people trying to shut down Raz B? Jason Lee stated on his Instagram that he just got off the phone with Fox Soul and the interview with Raz B of B2K that was scheduled to air that night wouldn't be airing. However, in the interview, Raz B and I discussed why young boys and men who allege sexual abuse are not taken seriously or they're intimidated into being silenced and this what happens. So the real question is, T-Sippers, we already know that Chris Stokes is fucking guilty. You want to know why? Why would Chris Stokes silence him to telling a lie? Remember Remember, Chris Stokes actually himself denied these allegations. So if you know that you're not guilty and you didn't do anything wrong, you would just let somebody talk about because it. Because eventually, if you tell a story, the lie will always come up. The devil is always in the details. However, I believe Raz B and I support him a thousand percent. So the sit down with Jason Lee and Raz B went as followed. See, Raz B made a statement and it was very impactful and very powerful. He said, as a victim of sexual abuse, at the hands of a man, I will not be silenced, nor will I allow him to be. We will be meeting to discuss when the show will air, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to elevate this important conversation. I'm not happy, but it's out of my control for now, stated Ross B. Now, T-Sippers, we must ask ourselves, why was Ross B silenced for telling a lie? Because according to Chris Stokes, the allegations never took place. See, normally in this lifetime, people are actually silenced for telling the truth. See, this is the real reason why Fox Soul sold out and decided not to go along with the interview with Roz B. According to Jason Lee at that time, Fox Soul actually received a cis and desist letter from the people who were allegedly victimizing him, claiming that they were going to sue the network if they aired the interview. Now, T-Sippers, let's go down the events surrounding the allegations against Chris Stokes. Here is a breakdown of the events and other consolidated information. And T-Sippers, just to give you a word of advisement, these are the facts. Romeo was the first official member of Immature, then Marcus and Half Pint in 1990, when they were only eight years old. Half Pint's parents take him out of the group, and he was replaced by LDB. Quindon Tarver was discovered in 1994 through an MCA representative. Then he signed to Virgin with the help of Chris Stokes. He had a manager at this time named Alan Walker. Shortly after, Alan was removed from the picture and Quindon's mother isn't always touring or staying in California with him. Quindon Tarver alleged that Stokes and Marcus Houston began to sexually abuse him around 96. Marcus Houston's mother dies in 1997. 
Quentin Tarver gets dropped from TUG in 97 because he told someone about his abuse and it got back to management. Rosby's mom was on drugs and made their cousin Chris Stokes his guardian when he was only 13. Rosby says that he had sex with Taz on his 14th birthday in 1999 and he was first taken by Marcus at the same house where Quentin was first assaulted. B2K is formed in 1999 and quickly broke up in 2003 for several reasons. Rosby, Book, and Little Fizz started taping a reality show in 2007 and planned to make a comeback together. In December, two weeks after telling his brother Ricky, Rosby was recorded telling Marcus Houston's father and his sister that Marcus and Stokes molested him. Stokes and Ricky talked on the phone and Stokes tells him, I don't do that anymore. Ricky then posts the videos and publicizes the allegations. Stokes says that he was turning down their request for money. Rasby retracts the allegations while Ricky stands by what they said in the video. Rasby admits that the retraction video was coerced and that Chris had indeed given the money. In 2008, Vibe Magazine puts out an article interviews everyone involved. In the article, Quentin Tarver comes forward for the first time. In 2010, Rosby started making allegations again, posting several videos calling Houston and Stokes pedophiles. A phone call between him and Quentin is the subject of two of the videos where Quentin goes into graphic details about his abuse. Quentin also said that the LAPD detective called him regarding an investigation into Stokes, but some people weren't corroborating, so it failed. Quentin Tarver did not consent to these videos actually being uploaded by Rosby. Marcus Houston gets a restraining order against Ross B and Ricky gets a restraining order against everyone. Ross B makes more allegations stating that Boo and Fizz were also molested. Ray J calls Ross B to have him clear his name for another video where he was mentioned but it also says that he spoke to Marcus and asked him about what happened and that he didn't say it wasn't true. Ross B goes to China in 2011 and stays there for seven years. In 2012 he makes a video addressing a bunch of rumors about him and he still says that Houston and Stokes molested him and that Stokes also molested the group Immature. B2K reunites in 2019 for the Millennium Tour. Three dates in, Raz B says he's leaving the tour because he thinks that Stokes is around and he doesn't feel safe. J Boog makes a video mocking Raz B's video where he says he's leaving the tour and wears a t-shirt that says I don't feel safe. J Boog is the vice president of Chris Stokes production company at this time. Raz B is arrested during the tour for strangling his girlfriend. The other members of B2K suspended him from the rest of the tour. In 2019, Omarion does an interview acknowledging that he actually believes that something in fact did happen to Raz B. Marcus Houston starts dating a teenager he's known since before she was 18, and they got married in 2020. Ross B does an in-depth interview with Hollywood Unlocked that's supposed to be broadcasted on Fox Soul, but Chris Stokes sends a sense of deceased that canceled that interview. Ross B challenges Stokes and Houston to a polygraph test the next day, and they didn't respond. Quindon Tarver is killed in a car accident on April the 1st of 2021. See, after all of this that happened, there was a video of Ricky telling Omarion's manager that he actually walked in on him being abused. See, Ross B's brother, Ricky Romance, alleges that he saw Omarion get molested as well. And one thing that's for sure, T-Sippers, something bad actually happened, and that's for damn sure. See, T-Sippers, this is the odd indication I get from this whole story and the situation. There is power in numbers. And right now, it's just Ross B. Even though we heard the interview with Quindon Tarver, if you didn't check it out, please go and find it. It is still on social media. However, right now, in this very moment in 2023, there is just Ross B all by himself. And even though he's talking at the moment, it's likely that someone else would have been brave enough to actually admit that they were also victimized too. And really, the only person to do that was Quentin Tarver. See, he passed away in a seemingly suspicious way. Unfortunately, the public scrutiny may be the least of an accuser's worries. But see, the case in point is that the fact that Omarion actually admitted something happened was a step in the right direction. And more than anything that the other members have done. See, Ross B, 
I agree, really. I don't mean to get caught up in the squabbling between the group members, as I'm more concerned with the common denominator behind it. However, Quentin Tower did not agree to the interview, nor did he know he was recorded. However, he did speak his truth. And he admitted that Chris Stokes is in fact a monster. And this indeed is the fact, C Sippers, that actually supports Raz B allegations against Chris Stokes. Because at the time, Raz B was not even available or around when this happened to Quentin Tarver. And just a PSA, Romeo, the very first member of the group Immature, may have gone MIA. See, someone actually tipped me off saying that he doesn't even follow Houston or Stokes anymore. But it's the fact that he still hasn't made any mention of what could have triggered this. And remember how I mentioned in the fact sheet, see, Romeo was actually the first singer and the member of the group Immature. And remember how the fact sheet stated that actually Romeo's parents pulled him out of the group very shortly after. And when I say parents, I do mean parents. Mean he had a mother and a father that were clearly not on drugs. And if you guys can see the difference, see, actually Chris Stokes played on his cousin's drug abuse. And this is allegedly how he was able to play on Raz B and his brother's innocence. Like the saying goes, blood is thicker than mud. However guys, this is not true. However, I knew that Raz B was telling the truth pretty much when he first came out about the mess. I also knew that people would turn against him and mock him until he was actually ignored. In my opinion, Rosby is obviously still mentally unwell until this day after all what he experienced. He wasn't able to squash it all down and pretend like I suspected that the other B2K members have done. It's just all very sad at this point, guys, and I do wonder where things will go from here. Hopefully, Rosby and the other members will actually receive some type of justice against Chris Stokes because I guarantee you guys, he has not stopped doing this as he stated to his cousin that he doesn't do it anymore but he comes out and says that these allegations are bogus and they're actually not true and as for Omarion see Omarion only backed Rosby recently he actually denied everything for years he could have left Chris Stokes where the others did, but he chose to stay because it was beneficial to him. And this is just my opinion. See, it seems that Chris Stokes was trying to make Omarion a star. But see, I don't give Omarion a pass either. It seems like he was an opportunist, just like the others. This whole he now believes something happened to Rosby, it's just baloney to me. See guys, if you were paying attention, the initial allegations were that they were all molested and even forced to do things together to each other. See, if Omarion really wanted to keep it real, he would have actually admitted that he was molested as well. See, not this old wishy-washy ass bullshit, oh, I support him now. Of course you do, because it happened to you too. See, allegedly, if you're going to speak on it, say it with your chest. Tell the truth. And tell your actual story, Omarion. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys on the next video.